Hi everyone! The official iOS app for the Xiaomi Yi camera is not out yet, but there is another iOS app working with the camera, and I want to show you how it works, because it's a little tricky. The app is called WeTrip Lite, and you can find the link in the video description. First, you have to switch on the Xiaomi Yi camera and press the Wi Fi button on the side of the camera. Now, search for the camera's Wi Fi on your phone and connect it. The standard password is set to 123456790. Open the app and browse for the device. You'll see the live footage from the camera, but be aware it doesn't work all the time. But if you hit the photo button, suddenly the live footage pops up. Below the live footage, you can select between photo and video mode. You can hit the record button in video mode and the camera is recording. Same in photo mode. Hit the button and you'll take a photo. But be careful, the app often shows failed, but when I tried it, photos were taken. It's not very accurate, so I wouldn't recommend using this feature. There is also a button where you can go to your photo and video albums, but it doesn't work and the images are not loading. I also wouldn't recommend hitting this button, because the app crashed several times when I tried it. Below the live footage, you will find the settings for the camera. It doesn't matter if you have selected photo or video mode, it will show the same menu. In the Wi-Fi settings, you can select your own password. The next one is probably the most important one, video resolutions and frame rates. When you click on it, you'll see the resolutions, but unfortunately not the frame rates. But they are different for every option. I tested it and the first one is 1080p 60 frames per second, the second one is 1080p 30 frames per second and so on. The resolutions and frame rates match the ones in the description of the camera. Watch out, the frame rates are not highest to lowest. See here the matching frame rates and also check out the video description. When you select one, it often doesn't work on your first try, so you have to select it a second time. You have several more settings for the camera. Video watermark, where you can have a time and date stamp. Video quality, ranging from super fine to normal. Photo resolution, where you can select based on megapixels. Photo watermark, so you can have different timestamp options for video and photo mode. Photo quality, also ranging from super fine to normal. Formatting your SD card. And restore to factory settings. When you click the home button, you will see some photos and you have the option share and reality. I don't know what this option is for. I think that's a social media platform. Well, that's it basically. I know it's not the best solution, but it's great to have this app until the official app is released. If you want to see more Xiaomi Yi videos, please subscribe. I was testing the camera and a GoPro today and I will upload a comparison soon. Thanks for watching and have fun shooting your videos.